Hello everybody and welcome, this is Adrian, thank you so much for joining me today, it's going to be time for some Age of Empires Definitive Edition. Let us play a new campaign, we're going to be continuing on with our playthrough of uh, Age of Empires Definitive Edition, we're going to be jumping into the Glory of Greece campaign, this is the second campaign in Age of Empires Definitive Edition. Follow the Greeks from their Bronze Age beginnings to the height of the Hellenic Era. Step into the sandals of famous Greek heroes like Achilles, Pericles, Xenophon, and Alexander the Great, to build a civilization spanning the ancient world from the Mediterranean to India. The Mediterranean climate of the Peloponnese region is well suited to agriculture. To thrive and expand in an increasingly hostile world, however, your people must take possession of suitable forage lands. Three other groups already inhabit this area. Of the three, the Pelasgians are the strongest. Establish five farms to sustain the agricultural needs of your people and destroy all Pelasgian farms to deal a crippling blow to your most powerful neighbor. It may be necessary to eliminate the Achaeans or Danans to obtain a foothold in this region before taking the fight to the Pelasgians. Cool. All right, let's do it. We are fighting in uh, Messenae in 1600 BCE. Let's see, let's uh, take a look at the history. Uh, Messenaean civilization first developed in the Argolis region of Peloponnese, but soon spread to many of the neighboring lands. The early Messenaean economy was primarily based on a combination of agriculture and pastoralism, centered on the cultivation of cereal crops and the keeping of livestock. Cool. Messenaeans developed new industries, including but not limited to pottery, metalworking, shipbuilding, and trade with neighboring regions. One of the most famous artifacts of the period is the so-called Mask of Agamemnon, a gold burial mask dating to the 16th century BCE. Cool. All right, let's do it. Let's play. Claiming some territory. Should be interesting, because, uh, you know, it's been a long time since I played Empires, and so all the campaigns, I'm, I'm not really going to remember at all. Whoa. Let's see. So we found enemy town center, which is interesting. I wonder if there's any hints. Let's take a look here. Oopsies. Hints. Um. So we cannot advance to the Bronze Age. Okay, first potential location for your town center is also hard to defend. Look for a better place to construct your base is advisable. Tackle them when you're truly ready. Okay. We should probably leave this area. Let's find somewhere else. This is a good okay area. Okay, so we found uh, the Danans. Let's build a couple of houses here. So we're in the Stone Age right now, and then we can go to the Tool Age later. But for now, we're going to be restricted. We got plenty of resources, though. We should probably get rid of barracks as soon as possible. Isaac. 
Yeah, there we go. You go help out with that. Okay. We are well on our way. It sucks we lost some of our clubmen, but uh, there's not much we can do about that now, so. Oh well. Yeah. Let's, uh, yeah, let's just keep training villagers, I think. Explore a little bit. I probably will build a granary out here, actually. It's probably a good idea. Alright, there we go. So we killed most of the Danan villagers. I'm wondering if he's going to be like out of food or something. Who knows? Because I don't see a score increasing at all. So he might, he might just straight up breed. Like, it's just there's just like nothing he can do. Um, let's build ourselves a granary as soon as we have enough wood. Because we need to start farms pretty pretty early. Um, I'm actually going to transfer. I think we only need one person on stone for now. I think that's fine. There's no berries around here, which is unfortunate. But this will be a good place for a granary, so let's do it! There we go. Oh yeah, that's right. I don't think we can build um Yeah. That's right. We can't build farms until the tool age, I believe. So in that case we'll do some more hunting and gathering and things. Uh, there's a villager here. Weird. We only need 500 food to go to the Tool Age, so we'll do that when we can. We should probably build a dock. We have s yeah, we have, we have... We have some wood right now, so let's build a dock real fast. Alright, cool. Off to a good start. We'll probably build barracks here in a bit. 125 wood. Alright, cool. So we got a decent amount of wood. We could get some troops if we wanted to. Uh, actually, that's probably not a bad idea right now. Yeah, actually, yeah. If we're gonna grab... If we're gonna grab a few fishing ships, I think getting a few more soldiers as well is probably a good idea. Just in, just in case we do have the, uh, the food for it. Yeah. Cool. Let's build a couple more houses, I think. Let's get one more of these fishing boats. Okay. It's actually another house. Well, at least we got plenty of stones, so we can build some defenses one of these days. We have to. Alright. So we got some fishing boats. And then we have some, uh, some foragers. 
Keep some troops up here, I think. Okay. Let's explore a little bit. So we gotta get to Tool Age, we'll build us up some farms, and then we'll find the enemy base. And we will destroy their farms. I do not know where the Achaeans are. We do know where the Danans are. We don't know where the Pelasgians are. So, there's actually plenty of gazelle and stuff around here, so that's good. As soon as we have 500 food, we'll go to the Tool Age. Can. Grab a couple more boats, actually. Whoa! What do we found here? Oh, oh shit! I think we're closer to the Pelasgians than we think. Alright. Well, he's in the Tool Age, so we definitely should advance on his position at all. That would uh, not be wise, so let's let's not do that. Oh wow, that's it. That's the only body of water there is, huh? All right. So after these fish are gone, it's basically gonna be useless. <laughs> oh well. Oh shit. Oh no, actually that doesn't work out well. Oh no. No, oh, no. Motherfuckers, no, I said get over here. Son of a bitch. No, dude, leave me alone. Fuck you. No, dude. No bastards. Come on, guys. How the hell did I lose three men? Holy shit. I don't know. That's fine. Be right. Whoa, dude, the Achaeans were destroyed. Holy shit. Okay, so probably the Danans and the Achaeans went went to war with each other. All right. So the Achaeans are done for. It's good to know. Um, one here, one here. Did I lose a villager? I might have. I might have lost one guy. Oh, there he is. There he is! I knew I didn't lose anybody. Oh, son of a bitch! Dude! You got fu oh, fucker! You killed my fucking villager! Come on, man. Oh, fuck. Dude, it's not good. It's bad. Holy bejesus. Shit, man. I can use a sentry tower. Alright, yeah, we have we've got plenty of stone. We need to build some towers real fast. We build like two of these towers. No, leave me alone! Holy shit, there's a shit ton of axemen, dude! What the balls? You gotta be fucking kidding me, man. Alamas. 
Dude, we're gonna run out of towers pretty soon. Or we're gonna run out of fucking villagers and the ability to get food pretty soon. My god, man. Ah! We need to we need to mark it before we can get farms. So that's unfortunate, but let's prepare this guy. Um okay. Well, we need the market. It's kind of important. Okay. Set some farms. Son of a bitch. My fear is that they keep them over here, so like I can't get troops. You know, because you don't have any food. Well, I mean, I have some food. I guess. I'd rather spend it on probably villagers, but kind of exhaust our supply of both wood and food. Yeah, I'm gonna need more. I'm gonna need more villagers for sure, but I think I actually need more axemen first. Damn it! They got them. They got them. Um, weapon damage upgrade too. They were doing seven damage. It's fuckers. Fuckers. You guys. All right. Okay. Um, I definitely could use more farms. For sure. You guys are gonna be useless. So, holy shit! Damn, dude. We need this upgrade right here. 100, 100, um, 100 food for that. I think that's gonna have to be our next upgrade. I need that. I mean, you'd be surprised, actually, how hard Age of Empires actually is. I I am. <laughs> I mean, it's it's one of those games that really does require a lot of um, a lot of practice, a lot of hotkeys and stuff, you know. I guess you could say in the same way of like StarCraft or something. Yeah, for sure, those guys are over there. Keep building villagers, get a good economy going, then we'll build some troops, some archers, and some axemen, and slingers, and good things. Oh, yeah, that's right, I could get slingers, couldn't I? Yeah, 40, 40 food, 10 stone. Not a bad idea. 
Not I eat. Yeah, not a bad idea. Although for 40 food, I think I might take actually an Axeman. Yeah, I want to do this woodworking, and we're going to need this domestication as well. Not necessarily now, but we will need it. I think I want more farms, though. I need a lot more farms. Usually, like, 10 to 12 farms. Like, that's a pretty good base to to, to have food coming in, you know? Um, and it, you can only really get more efficient from there. Um, I could use probably more woodcutters, actually, because... Well, let's get let's get this first, and then I think we'll get more woodcutters because um, I need to make my woodcutters more efficient. I I could get more woodcutters, but I think I'd rather prefer to have more farmers. Right now I've got seven farms. I think I'd prefer like ten. Um, I could use more troops though too. So we'll grab two X Men. Yeah, we definitely need farms to be a little more efficient. Or, uh, woodcutters would be more efficient at carrying stuff. Stone is not a big of a deal. As big of a deal. And actually, I probably will grab some slingers, I think. I think I probably will grab some slingers. Yeah, that's actually probably gonna be a pretty good idea. This leather armor is actually willing... I'm willing to go for that. Um, I think we will grab this domestication first because we will need the farms. But actually, yeah, I think getting... I think getting slingers is going to be good because they do extra damage to archers, walls, and towers. So we got towers all over the place. You know. Yeah, I think we need a few more... A few more woodcutters. Get, yeah, we're getting, uh, so we're gonna have six woodcutters, seven farms, probably need a little more than that. Let's build a house or two. I think I'll get one more, so we have six woodcutters. This stone miner will be done pretty soon. We might not actually even, we can probably move them off now. We don't really need more stone. Uh, we do need more houses, though. It's coming in at a decent pace. It's all right. Um, yeah, let's grab one more farm over here. So about eight farmers, eight woodworkers, I think. Or like six, six woodworkers, maybe seven. I think right now it's six. Yeah, six woodworkers, eight farms, one miner. I could probably put them over here later. Yeah, because we don't really need the stone. Who's shooting? Who's that? Alright. That's good. We could get an archer range. It's not really necessary, though, for this, I think. I think we're going to be okay. Let's grab some slingers. I think I need, like, six. We'll get, like, eight or ten axemen. I think six slingers will do it. We don't need to attack the Danans and the Palazians. Yeah, we'll probably take them out right now. Yeah. We'll do just fine. Let's see. So you get you do two damage, but you do extra damage versus towers, which is weird. Okay, we could build walls if I wanted to. It actually may even be worth it to get um, another barracks if we wanted to. I think we're now we're fine, but you know. Do you guys have armor? Using your armor? What? What do you mean? Do you count as archers? With the armor for archers? Let's take a look. 
Because two armor is not shabby, dude. That's a lot. 100, 100 food for two archer armor. That's interesting. Holy shit, they built a storage pit right there, too? Wow. So what, you guys count as archers? No. What the hell? So slingers, for some reason, can't get any armor whatsoever. That's weird. I don't know that. Holy shit! Did you guys see that? Whoa, dude, there was an army over there. A very large one at that. Holy but Jesus. more houses. Yeah, maybe we will grab some archers. After what I just saw, Jesus. There's a huge army there. Let's get one more of those guys. Do let's do an archer range. The range on these slingers is actually terrible. Only four range. That really is not very far. Archers are probably way better. Probably a way more range than that. Oh, they're shooting at these guys, the Danans. Okay. Alright, let's move you guys over here now. And... Yeah, we're done with the stone. Alright, couple archers. Trains quick and cheap. I wish it actually told you how long this guy takes to build. Be nice. What's his damage? Three. He's got six range though, so he outranges slingers for sure. So it's not bad to wait for him. Alright then. That's pretty cool. I love the destruction. I love the destruction. Uh, destruction animations for this game. They're pretty cool. Alright, we got about 20 men. This should be enough to take on whatever the hell they got. If it's not, we're gonna be in some deep shit. We got plenty of food anyway, so. Let's find out what these guys are doing over here. Holy god! Beast. 
Damn. Gnarly, dude. Holy shit. We have a shit ton of troops, dude. Whoa. We have a lot of men. Holy God, dude. They literally just have Axemen coming out the ass. Where do they get all these men from? How long have they been training troops? That's a real question. Fucking shite. Whatever the hell's over there, I can't get over there until we have more men. Damn. I think a second barracks would probably be just a fight. In fact, why don't we go and do that? Look at that. Look at all the men that died over there, dude. Holy shit. I mean, I'm pretty sure the enemy farms are over here somewhere. They have to be. You guys can hit moving targets to save your life. Damn, we killed hell of men. They could blow up that tower. Cool. Oh shit! That's some gnarly range though. Alright, where's this guy's farms? No, you fucker. Right, here we go. Yeah. That's right. Blow that shit up. Burn it. That's it? That's the only farm he had? You gotta be kidding me. What the hell? <laughs> your victory over the neighboring chiefdoms has ensured that your people have access to the most fertile land available to sow their crops. The Pelasgians, Achaeans, and Danans have all either submitted to your rule or fled into neighboring regions to lick their wounds. Your people can now focus on building settlements, establishing trade routes, and spreading their influence into neighboring areas. That's funny. All right. <clears throat> That's cool. Your people. Okay. All right, guys. Well, we're going to take a quick break here. We'll be doing some more stuff as Greece in the next episode. So thank you so much for watching as always, and please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know if you guys are enjoying the series, uh, join some Age of Empires, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much.